Hey Marmadons. So it's time for girl talk. All right. I recently, well not recently, a couple of months ago, I got a menstrual cup. I've heard all of these different girls, I've seen a bunch of different girls talk about it. Mostly they use the Diva cup, there may be another one, but I got this one on Amazon. Um, this is called the Eva cup. So, and it's basically, I, it's not in the box anymore, but you know, it's basically a menstrual cup like the Diva cup. And so I tried it out and this is my evaluation of it. What you want? You can cut this out. You can just sure. cut this out. I don't know, I might leave it. So the first month, it I, I liked it a lot. I had no leaks. Um, I didn't use it the first day of my period. I was a little bit nervous about it just because, you know, I didn't know how it was gonna work out. So I started using it my second day and it, I had absolutely no problems. Like I said, no leaks, no problems putting it in. It was pretty easy for me. It doesn't go in as easy as if, say, you're using a plastic applicator for, like, on your tampon, right? Just because it's, you know, it's more, it's not just the stick, basically. So you gotta do a little bit of maneuvering. But it wasn't that bad for me. It says on the box that you can use it for up to 12 hours. I didn't go that long. The first day I left it in for probably about four hours and then I, you know, took it out just to see like how much, how much, how full it was. <laughs> and then I kind of adjusted from there. So first time I left it in there about four hours, second time I left it in about eight hours. It really just depends on how heavy your flow is. Taking it out now and, and seeing it, like it, when I took it out, I was, I, I was expecting to be super grossed out and whatever, but honestly, I wasn't that grossed out. I was just like, okay, so that's what it looks like, you know? And, and you just kind of get over it. I feel like it looks grosser on a tampon than it does just sloshing around in here. And so then I just uh, poured it out into the, into the toilet and then I rinsed it out in the sink. And this, the Eva cup also came with a foaming, like a cleansing foaming wash. They say that you can like use it on yourself, but I've never used it on myself. I always used it to clean my cup. First month it was fine, no leaks, everything was perfect. I loved it, I'm like, I'm converted for life. I'm never gonna use tampons again. Well, second month rolls around and still it's easy to put in but I start like getting leaks, you know, like, I mean, not, not leaks, but you know, kind of like when your tampon is full and you know, you kind of get a little bit of excess, except for, except for the cup wasn't full. I don't know, was I putting it in wrong? I have no idea why I started getting leaks, but I did. And so that was kind of a turnoff for me. But then the other major turnoff was that my husband said that uh, after using it, you know, when we're um, having intercourse, that it feels different. And then so I googled it and other people have said the same thing where it kind of stretches you out. As much as I like not putting bleached cotton inside of my vagina, you know, because tampons aren't good for you just because, you know, you're putting a foreign object inside of your body. This is also a foreign object, but it's not bleached fabric, which I would think is worse than silicone, silicone, silicone. So right now I'm on the fence about if I'm going to continue using it or not. So I, I like the idea of it, but I don't want to have a stretched vagina when, you know, I haven't had kids or anything. Another thing that I'm thinking about trying is Lola tampons. I don't know if you guys have heard about that, but they're like supposed to be tampons made from natural products. Like they're not, they don't use bleached cotton. It's supposed to be better for you. So I might try that out, see how that is. And then, you know, I'll keep my Eva cup to, you know, if I decide later on that I wanna keep using it, then I will. But for now, I'm gonna put it back on the shelf. That was disappointing to me. I was really excited about it, but yeah, I just, I just can't deal with the, with the, with the, yeah, 
you know what I'm saying. So yeah, that's um, that's how I feel about these menstrual cups. Let me know if you guys have tried the Diva Cup or any other menstrual cup and what you thought about it. Yeah, make sure you like and subscribe the video if you enjoy hearing me talk about girly things. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao! It's time for some girl talk. A company called L Condoms reached out to me to help promote their line of condoms. So they sent me the products.